Hello folks, welcome back to more PGA Tour 2K23. And we've got a brand new course for you today. And it is an official course. It is Spyglass Hill. Now this is another one I've been waiting for on top of, uh, what was that, uh, Pebble Beach. This was the other one I was really looking forward to. So we're gonna jump in and have a look. My guy's ready, he's got his shorts on. Nice t-shirt and that on with the flamingos. Bit of sun by the beach. So let's jump into this and get it started, shall we? Yeah, I've been really looking forward to this one. See how it plays. Can't remember what game I last played this on. Spy Glass Hill, to be honest. I know I've played it on one game or a couple of golf games before, but I can't remember which one. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a quick look around. Since it's the first time on the course, we'll get the old sky cam out and we'll have a little look around. Now, I was reading up on it. As I said, it's been a long time since I've played on a, a Spy Glass Hill. And it's still number 10 in America's 100 greatest public golf courses in golf digest that's if it's up to date that is but what it says here it says it's greatest meeting of sand and trees if pebble beach is the greatest meeting of land and sea then perhaps by glass hill should be dubbed the greatest meeting of sand and trees the defining takeaway at spy glass hill is how starkly the first five holes juxtapose the rest of your round sweeping ocean views um Try to read off the other screen here, so it's a bit hard trying to go around a corner. <laughs> yeah, sweeping ocean views with holes are darting through and darting through a daring dunescape. Give way to the understated natural beauty and brawn of the Del Monte Forest. Pine Valley by the sea meets Augusta National, as Sports Illustrated eloquently describes it. That's pretty good then. Pretty good way to describe it. As an annual co-host of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am, as well as a stroke play venue for a pair of US Amateur Championships in 1999 and 2018, Spyglass Hills Championship pedigree has been validated by the game's very best. Now, all the courses, all the holes um, have actually... Where was it? I was actually looking up. The, the, all the names come from um, Treasure Island which is pretty cool. Every time I go over to the other page with my cursor, it, it sort of turns off a bit. <laughs> what I was looking for was this bit here, I think. Uh, nope. This bit here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, all the holes are named after bits of Treasure Island. So the first hole was actually called Treasure Island. Nice white sandy beaches. Look at that, beautiful. Let's go up and have a look at the the plot right back on track sorry about that i was looking on the other screen what i'll do as i'm playing through the holes i'll tell you the name of the holes i, I didn't know that actually until i actually I looked it up about 20 minutes ago that all the hole names were named after parts of the treasure island book pretty cool well i suppose if you've read treasure island and once you get to a couple of the holes then you would know it's part of treasure island <laughs> Yeah, that beautiful, isn't it? This um, this front section of the course, absolutely stunning. Island away over there as well. Look at that, beautifully done. So it comes down here. This must be the next T. So we're playing that way onto a little par three. I do believe. No, nope, second is actually a par four. It's called Billy Bones. So let's head this way. Let's just head over this direction. Do love the white sands, the contrast to the green of the white sands. Beautiful. Oh, this might be us on to one of the other courses that are down there. I think it is, you know. I can't remember what course is actually purely adjacent to it, but I know um, Pebble Beach. I think there's, there's not four courses around this area. Pebble Beach, Spyglass, a couple of others. So we'll head up this way. Looks like we've got quite a bit of um, elevation changes here as well. I mean, look at this for a hole. If that white sand, you would think that was snow. Look at it. Look at how white it is. Very nice. So like I said, just have a quick look around. Then we'll jump down, get it played, see how it plays. 
as I said, it's another course I've been looking forward to. Their official courses are getting better, I think. They used to, they were a little bit lazy in some places. I mean, when Power Beach came out, the, the rocks, some of the rocks and that were, were kind of really wrong and they did change up pretty quick, but their official courses are getting a little bit better. So let's jump into this, get this started. Okay, so the first hole is a par five. It's 528 yards, 124 feet down. So I'm going to put a little bit of, a little bit of draw on this. It's weird going from one three click system to another three click system, just like it is with the stick swing as well, going from one to the other. Nice big drive though. That's bounding right down that hill. We should be able to go on the green for two here. Okay, so that leaves us at 249, 42 feet down. So that is what, 14 off of that. So that's playing to run about 235. I make that, we've got a three wood, don't need that. 235, but then we've got that wind. I think we should be all right just going in there with this, you know. Let's try this. Oh, that's looking good. If the distance is right, Hard to see the bloody ball though. That's going to get a nice little bounce here. Look at that. Beautiful. And it's held the green well. So that's going to give us a little eagle pot on our first hole. All right, let's bring that back a little touch. Come on, go on. Yes, nice start. Nice start with an eagle. Yeah, it's like a PGA Tour, a EA Sports one. You can use the three-click swing on your swing, and you can use the, the stick swing on your pun. I think that's great. <laughs> Cause that's the only thing I don't like on a three-click swing on the, this game is the putting in it, but then it would be way too easy, I think, if um, you could do that. Oops. I still muck up the old, the old swing now and again. That should bounce off there. Travel down a little bit to the right. Yeah, I dropped that down to a five wood there. Didn't fancy taking this little area on there. Okay, so the second hole, yes. So the first hole was called Treasure Island. The second hole is called uh, Billy Bones. Ah, and it actually says here, a layup to the base of the hill leaves you 125 yards in. From there, you must correctly judge the elevation, wind, and pin position on a skinny green that's cut diagonally into the side of a hill. So there we go, that's hole two. Oh, is that skinny? Skinny little green, isn't it? Um, so we've got 131.23 up. Uh, you're talking about 138, 139. Let's put it up to 139. Put a tiny bit of loft on it, not too much. Got that slope going with us there as well, against the wind. So let's try that. Oh, that looks good. That looks pretty good. Come on, if the distance is nice. Oh, that's not bad at all. We'll take that. Looks like a bit of a twat with that hat on though, doesn't it? Right. Oh, underjudged. Underjudged the break on that one. Oh, look at that, though. That is very nice looking. Okay, third hole, and it is called the Black Spot. The tee box yields a spectacular view of Cypress Point Club, Bird Rock, and Monterey Peninsula Country Club. Since the downhill shot faces Pacific Ocean, it's almost always into a seaside breeze, making the distance difficult to calculate once you find a green. Notice that putts race to the ocean. Okay, right downhill. It's a beautiful looking par 3 though, isn't it? Right, 63 is down, so that's what, 31 off of there, so that's playing 135. We've got a little bit of wind against us, 139. That should be okay, let's try that. Oh, oh, go on. Oh, look at that judge just on the edge of the green there. 
I think we got quite lucky there, though, to be honest. Oh, come on, see if we can get another birdie here. Oh, I'm just not judging the brakes. Even though the brakes are the same with the pattern, if it's three click or it's stick swing, it's so weird because you get a, a more feel to it with the stick, and it's it's weird. It's, I don't know, it's hard to describe. Let's try that. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> if that was stick swing, I could just chuck that in the hole. It's my only downfall on three click is the pun, really is. Okay, fourth hole is a par four, 334 yards and 30 feet down. Again, little tight area just coming down here. We are on the three wood. Where's the driver going to land me? Oh, look at that. Look at that. We could be right off the edge of the green here. Do you know what? I'm just going to smash it down now. Oh, Mr. Markers. So we're going to lose a little bit of distance, but I'm, is it going to clear the bunkers? It is. We might get a little bit lucky. Okay, that's just going to leave a nice little pitch or a chip up there, but that's not bad, actually. That is not bad at all. I'll take that. Put a little bit of loft on. It should come off this side here and back down. Okay, so that was actually the fourth hole, which is par four, um, and it's called Blind Pew. Let me try and remember to tell you these before I actually tee off. <laughs> It'd be a little bit better. Right, let's... Come on, let's even get this. Nope, underestimated the break again. Okay. Okay, onto the fifth, which is par three, and this is called Bird Rock. Enjoy your last hole along the ocean. This par three is placed slightly uphill to a green surrounded by dunes and bunkering. The safest section of the green to hit is the bowl in the middle. Okay. A little bowl in the middle. Yeah, you can see it right here. But we'll go right for the pin here, I reckon. Five hybrid. Um, five iron. You know what? I reckon that will go on there. It's going to be a little bit to the right. I missed the top top marker there but that's not too bad did land in the bow what he said <laughs> okay 31 feet and one foot up oh it's looking good get in there about time as well A little bit annoyed today, actually. Bloody Jedi Survivor. Started playing. I actually stayed up. It came out at five o'clock this morning. <laughs> I looked at the time and it was like half two, nearly three o'clock. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I might as well just stay up for another hour and a half and just have a little look at it. Another bloody bad PC port. Don't get me wrong. The game's great so far that I've played on it. The story's really nice and that as well. But it's the optimization. I've got a strong, I've got a powerful PC. I'm running a 3080 and an i9 um, 9900K. It's a quite a powerful PC, and the game's pretty laggy on that. I mean, I have dropped it down to 1440p. I've changed a few settings in that as well, so it is running okay. But you should be able to run these games a lot better these days. Okay, this is the sixth hole, par four, and it's called Israel Hands. And we've just come up a little bit short there. We're going to be on that first cut, though. It's not too bad. Okay, this, the character of Spyglass Hill visibly changes on this tee box as you'll spend the rest of your round hiking the Del Monte Forest. 
Try to take a peek at the pin when you are in the first fairway. This a giant green has three distinct sections that play dramatically different. So the pin is right at the front here. And it is what, 117, 31 up. So that's playing 127. We've got 132 there, 118. Um, tell you what, let's go up to the 132. A little bit of loft on that. Let's try that. A little bit better at the top, but still missed at the bottom there. But that is not too shabby. Is it going to come back? No, nope, it's just going to stay there. Eh, chip. I hate these little chip shots. Let's put a ton of loft on this. That should hold, and we should be able to pick up the par there. Oh, and he smacks the back of the cup with that one. Okay, so we're on minus two. It's not too bad. That's the first, first time round. Seventh hole. Okay, we've got a par five here. 543 and 41 feet down. Again, quite a tight little fairway down here. Put a tiny little bit of fade on this. Oh, that's shocking. Look at that. Good thing is, though, you've got time with this three click. If you miss left or right at the top, You've got time to miss left or right at the bottom. It kind of strains itself out, as you've seen the, way, the sort of way it sort of turned from out to in there, the ball. Okay, 228. Par 5. Oh, we're definitely going to end the green here. Massive slope, though, so we're going to have to aim this a little bit over to the right. Let's try that. Oh, shocking. Again, but it's turning round. This might land up just a little bit shy of the green here. And it has. Okay. Little chip shot. Loads of loft. Try and get it stopped pretty quick here. Still left is a quite an awkward putt. Have you seen the shape of that green there? Okay, yeah, well, I missed the bloody the name again, didn't I? This one's called Indian Village. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Right. Oh, that's pacey. Oh, crap. Blew right past the power marker there. Oh, shocking. Yeah, this the putting this could just kill my game on three click. It really can. I seem to over hit it too much. I just put way too much power in them. Both of them have come from putting mistakes. I'm two bogeys. Okay, we're down to minus one. Eighth hole, par four. We'll get it back. 401, 57 feet up. Yeah, it's got quite a nice Nice way it's laid out. A little bit of downhill, a little bit of uphill. Some quite tight fairways. <gasps> oh, I am all over the place with this three click. Let me sort this out. Nice little bounce there, though. Let me have a quick drink of coffee. All right, what have we got? 130, 30 feet up, so it's playing 140. Uh, 138, uh, 139. Do, 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 do. Let's go up another one. We'll put a bit of loft on it, bring it back just a touch. Let's try that. That's not too bad. If it stays and it hasn't stayed, it's going to roll back. And this one is called a signal hill. It's the toughest hole in the course, and it doesn't even reach 400 yards. This traverse camber fairway produces a hanging lie into an elevated green with a severe false front. No, now he tells me. The second shot always plays longer than the sprinkler heads indicate. 
I can hear my dog outside my door. I kicked him out before I started the video. <laughs> I just heard him crying. Go on, get up there. That'll do it. Only for another par, though. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, bit of a mixed bag on the front nine. Started off with that cracking eagle. Okay, ninth holes, a par four, 434 yards and 46 feet up. This should be just one and done right down the fairway. Should be good. Went up towards Clubhouse. It is a really nice course, though. I suppose you're spoiled on that front um, couple of holes because that's absolutely beautiful down by the coast. Okay, 136, 20 feet up. So it's playing around about 143-ish. 139, 151. Let's bring that back just a touch. Put a bit of loft on that. Oh, there we go. That's what you wanted. Both markers. How's the distance? Oh, distance is spot on. But how's the button? Button's crap. <laughs> As usual, with three click. Yeah, like I said, it's so weird. The brake's the same, but it just feels totally different when you're putting with three click. I think it's in my head, actually. It's subliminal. <laughs> okay, 10th hole, 396, 44 feet down. Right over, I reckon we get right over the top of these two little trees here. Oh, nice, nice hit. Come on, turn in. Lovely. Couldn't have placed it better. What a cracking drive, 346 yards off the tee. Oh, yes. Right, come on, birdie. Lovely. Yes. Oh, I meant to say at the start of the video as well, I just want to say a big congratulations to Anthony. He said in the comment section he was getting la uh, married last weekend. He said that the wedding went absolutely brilliant. So big congratulations to Anthony and his missus. Well done. It took me 30 years to ask my missus to marry me. <laughs> I mean, I'm 53. We've been together since I was, what, 21, 22, I think? Something like that. Even from, no, before that, actually. I think I was 20, coming on to 21, when we sort of first got together. But we always said that marriage didn't really... Yeah, eventually we would. And on our 50th, we went to Rome and Venice for our 50th birthday. And I actually um, proposed to her by the Trevi Fountain in Italy. And she was crying. <laughs> Right, what have we got here? Oh, it's par five. Oh, this one's the 11th. I keep forgetting to tell you this, don't I? My head gets carried away sometimes. This one's called Admiral Benbow. Aggressive drives that cut the corner can pay off big time here. And that's what I just did. Setting up reachable second shots on this into this par five. If you can get home in two, it is wise to lay up at the end of the first fairway, 125 yards out and a short of an armory of bunkers guarding the right half of the green. So I think we're probably just going to go straight into the green here. Uh, we're going in with a hybrid. We can't really attack the pin with a five word. Tell you what, let's go in here, but bring it in from the left little touch. Let's try that. Might turn a little bit too much because I missed the top mark. Yep, it has. Gonna go over this bounce? No, nope. that's all right. I'll leave just a nice little chip down to the pin there. That's actually worked out not too bad there. Nice little chip. 
should hold up and we should pick up another birdie. That's better. Oh, I thought that was better because I had the power right. <laughs> just didn't have the, the aim right. That was terrible again. Another par five we just screwed up. Yeah, especially short par fives like that, it should definitely be hitting birdies on them. Right, what have we got here? Let's go in with a little seven iron, a little bit of loft on it. That's okay, hitting that right hand side of the mark up there. Better be safe than sorry. Oh, but I didn't want to go off the green. Uh oh, that's short. That's well short. Oh, I'm making a making a meal of this one, boys and girls. Come on, get up that. See, I wanted it just on the edge of the green, so it would trickle down towards the hole. But I've screwed that one up as well. <laughs> okay, bogey. Damn it. Look at that, that's terrible. Three, but no, one of them's a double bogey, I think. No, I think it was a par five that got a bogey. I just seen a six there. Right, 13th hole is a par four. That's 445 yards. And it is called Tom Morgan. Okay, you don't notice how uphill this hole is until you reach the green and look back at the tee. The back half of this elevated green also slopes steeply towards the front of the putting surface, so. Come on, stay on the fairway. That should be okay. Nice little bounce out there. Okay, 136, 20 up. So that's playing around about 142, 143. We've got a 139 there. That should be good enough, I reckon. If I can hit the bloody marker. That's going to bounce right on the edge of the green. That's going to be nice, actually. Oh, yes, that'll do it. Right, come on, can we pick this birdie up this time? We can. Nice one. Okay, back to minus two. Okay, 14th hole. And this one is called Long John Silva. This a double dog leg in par five is challenging to reach in two because of its shape. An imposing pond also starts at 70 yards in front of the green. The middle half of this green does feed right, which can help approach work their way, help approaches work their way towards the hole, tucked behind the pond. Where's the pond? Oh yeah, there it is down that. Right. Long John Silva. So if you've never read Treasure Island or seen any of the films, as soon as you got to this hole, you would know it's about Treasure Island. Long John Silva. <laughs> okay, 327 off the tee, not too bad. Can we reach it? We certainly can. I think we're going to play over here. Play over here and try and just get it to run down towards the hole, maybe. I reckon. Yes, nice. Kind of hit both marks. Now, is it going to go, go, go? Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Just caught the fringe there, though. I think if I hit the green, it probably would have been right down by the hole. I didn't mean to go that close to the fringe, actually. I was trying to hit so sort of middle of the green, but way over on the left and try and just get it funneled down towards the hole. But that worked out okay. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Oh, so close. I'm going to pick up the birdie, though, which is good. Nice. Takes us to minus three. Look at that. Spyglass Hill Golf Course. Okay, 15th. We've got a little par three here. And this one is called Jim Hawkins. Barely longer than the famous seventh hole at Pebble Beach, this a downhill par three is guarded by a pond, short, 
and a hillside dotted with bunkers along. Yep, there's the, the bunkers at the back there. Watch out for a tier that divides the upper back and half of the green from the lower front. Okay. Yeah, you can see over this side. Nice little landing area it's got there, if we can get it though. 136, 21 feet down, so it's playing around about 129. 132 with a little bit of loft, I reckon. Should be good. Oh, oh that's terrible. Missed markers at both top and bottom. That might come up pretty short. Oh no, look at that. That's actually not too bad. <laughs> a good bad shot. Tough little putt though. Quite a big break on this one. Oof. I, mean, I probably could have got away with a little bit more power on that, but if I missed, I think it probably would have been off the green if I put more into that one. So we'll take the par there. Okay, on to the 16th. The 16th is called a black dog. A tree protects the inside corner of the fairway on this sharp dogleg right. Check your yardage to the end of the fairway. You might need to shape your shot to the right to keep it in play off the tee. The massive green slopes strongly from back to front. Okay, right. It's good when you get the, the green slope and back to front. All right, here we go. Put a little bit of fade on that. Just try and turn that corner a little bit. Oh, that's absolutely A1 position that. Beautiful shot. Okay, 131, 10 down. It's playing around right about 127. We're 132. We've got three mile an hour, wind four miles. Should be okay. Hit both markers. Go on. There we go. Come on, be close. Go on. Go on. Oh, yes. A little tappy tap. And we pick up another birdie. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, 17th hole is a par four. And this one is called Ben Gunn. This short dog legged left par four wraps around four fairway bunkers. You don't need much off the tee. But you'll want to keep your second shot below the hole. The 17th green is one of the steepest on the courses. It actually gives you... A, I'm actually going to put a link in the description of this. It will take you through all the holes. It's got a little screenshot here of the holes as well. I mean, they have done a good job. Everything's in its place and that. But you can just tell the difference between looking at PGA Tour 2K23 to the proper screenshot to courses that are in EA... And the more lifelike is definitely the EA games, but the game plays better on 2K23. Oh, if these, these two bloody games could have a baby, we could have such a good golf game. <laughs> Very nice. Imagine if EA bought 2K, uh, not 2K, but HB before 2K bought it. We could probably be playing golf in like the Frostbite engine instead of Unity. But then again, I keep saying, do they keep using Unity because of the course designer? I think that's probably what it is. Oh, that's well short. Sugar. Should have guessed that with the loft, to be honest. Oh, yes, go. Get in. Yee hoo hoo, you little beauty. Nice. Little bit of a bonus there. Now, was that a birdie or a bogey? I'm not even sure. Oh, it was for birdie. Well, nice one. Get in there. Lovely little chip. Okay, we've actually done not too bad on this back nine. We're up to minus five. We're on the 18th now. Uh, 440 yards, two feet down. And this one is called Spyglass. It's a straightforward tee shot with one fairway bunker to avoid. 
but the two-tiered green is one of the trickiest on the course. Know where the flag is before firing your final approach to the day. Okay. Let's see if we get a crack and drive off the end here. Oh, and we do. Look at that. Petting. Whoosh. Perfect, perfect. Right down the middle. Oh, is it going to hold? Come on. Bit of a nasty camber there. Left to right. Quite a big slope on us there. Put a little bit of loft on. We've got 117, 11 feet up. Oh, two good shots to the end there. Come on now, can we get the birdie? How's the distance? That is not too bad. We should be able to pick up the birdie here. Hopefully. And we got it. Nice. That's a really nice course. I really, really enjoyed that. Nice little run at the end there. Three birdies on the bounce. Very nice. So we picked up on the back nine. Didn't do too well on the front nine. Couple of bogeys here and there. I really need to get my ass in gear and get this sorted as well. This um, clubhouse pass. Got a couple of new t-shirts. Oh look, new pair of shorts. Could have worn them today. So there you go guys, that is our first look at Spyglass. So quite impressed, really, really nice course. Some tight fairways on there. If I used the, the, the stick swing, it probably would have been a lot harder, I reckon. Even if the wind is up a little bit more, it probably would have been a lot harder as well. But yeah, really, really nice course for an official course. Really enjoyed it. Give it a play. And again, guys, thank you for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.